Hello there YouTube, Dean the Vaping Bug here and I am going to try and do a quick vlog because there's not a whole hell of a lot different to the last one to tell you. Basically I have, um, I calmed down on accepting a few review items for this couple of weeks but uh, I'm still getting a bunch coming through to be honest but I'm not going to show you any sort of the, of the super new stuff today purely because, um, purely because I still have got some stuff in the queue that needs doing. I expected to get more done over the last week but unfortunately with the birthday happening at the weekend and various bits and bobs I, I just didn't didn't get the chance I'm afraid so what did we do last week let's have a little look through this one I gave you everyone a thank you for hitting 10k which is still <laughs> mental crazy um, so thank you very much for, for, for joining the channel and uh, and checking that out I really really do appreciate it um, the other thing that we came out with was the 24 and 30 mil X1 RDAs. I'm still a massive fan. Uh, th that uh, 24 mil, I still think looks amazing on top of my fog and sailor box. Um, I really like it. It's, it, I just, I really enjoy using it. The 30 mil I have been using, uh, but I haven't really been using that many larger boxes recently. So the only one that, uh, once I finished up with that, uh, with that review, I then went on to the Mason um, 30 and 24 mils and for me personally out of the uh, the X1s and the Masons the Masons are just balls out clouds that's what they're going for just balls out have some clouds uh, whereas the X1s are a little bit because of that more of a, of a of a slightly sort of tighter airflow they're more for whilst they do produce they're more for a sort of a great kind of all round vape uh, so yeah I've really just been enjoying the shit out of these to be honest with you I'm not going to lie uh, I've still been using this um presser this 100 watt presser now i have found that some batteries have been a little bit problematic on this one which i will go into in the review uh which is a bit of a shame so yeah i'm gonna have to uh, i'm gonna have to definitely spend some time with that uh, now then, what has been going on? I said last week that I was going to be doing the Supremo Spade review, pretty sharpish. And I mentioned that I was on uh, playing with the different wire types in uh, Steam Engine in the Wire Wizard. So using kind of temp limiting, but for... Um, but for uh, um, Claptons and all that sort of good stuff. And to be honest, I've, I've, I have been rocking a lot of that. Uh, but unfortunately, because of time last week, I didn't get as much time as I wanted to do as many rebuilds as I wanted. Um, but this, I am going to try. The next review that comes out, I'm going to try and make it this one. So that's been fun. Uh, what else have we got? Did I tell you? Don't know if I told you about the Kanga Pro Tank 4 that came in. That came in, I think it was on Thursday. Uh, Thursday last week. Um, so may not have done. But this is, uh, this is kind of the upgraded version of the Kanga Pro Tank. And I've not actually uh, got into it yet. I've not got involved in the slightest. I've literally just took the wrapping off on top of the uh, the Ideal Ohm show the other day. Now I put uh, I put did put in the uh, the thinnest coil. It's like a 1.5, I think it is 1.5 ohms. And one of the things, and this is just a very first impression. Like I say, it hasn't seen any juice yet, so I've not managed to do that. Um, but with the airflow wide open, but with the thinner 1.5 coil. It is a very restricted airflow. Now, what I noticed is the airflow control actually does nothing. You're wide open at this point. You can't really see that. Um, but it does absolutely nothing until you are kind of about sort of a two mil hole um purely because obviously you've only got a small amount of air going through the through the coil itself. So yeah, I mean, mouse to lungy, it is doable. But it is also very, uh, you do sort of close it off pretty much all the way to get a tight mouth to lung. Uh, but it does come with other coils as well. 
Let's have a, just a, a quick little delve into this box here so I can show you what's going on here. We've got a rebuildable as well as another stock coil here. So like I say, it's going to be it's going to be something that I am going to have to spend some time with. Although brilliantly, Kanga once again have sent these with only just, with one each of the coils rather than multiple coils. And I have kind of mentioned it to them. I think there are some more on the way, but we'll see. Um, <sighs> It's, I'm, someone suggested after my Cleto review, well, why don't you just go out and buy them? Well, that's super if you want to go out and buy a whole bunch of coils for tanks that you'll, you're, you're using for review and then probably, probably, probably won't be using very much after. And, you know, it's, it's just a, a huge pain in the dick, to be honest with you. So, uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be getting some more coils for this anyway, but I will review it regardless. And if it means that I have to go through coils and, uh, and uh, if I have to go and buy some, then I have to go and buy some, which is poo. But it's uh, that's up for review, and it's it's good to. Oh, they have got the the airflow under the drip tip. Oh, just seriously though, when when has anyone said no? Do you know what? Do you know I am getting too much flavour and just the clouds. Oh, they're just too dense. They're too big. I just I need more airflow. But less flavour and and smaller clouds. That's definitely if you can make them wispy, that'll be awesome. Oh, great then. Well, let, let's let's add some airflow just just in the drip tip. That'll be super. So you're basically slipstreaming. That'll be spot on. Well done. You can tell that doesn't impress me much. It don't impress me much. Anyway, um, <laughs> so this will be coming up. Still got the cool fire four to do. Had a problem with the cool fire four. Um, the uh, the temp control, yeah, I did have an issue with it. Uh, I got it together, ready to uh, to do a uh, a review with at the start of last week, and uh, yeah, had an issue, had an issue. So um, I have contacted Inakin, and we are having a little look, see if it's just me or uh, or, or or if it's uh, if it's a thing. So I will report back, but that's why this has taken so long. There's a gazillion. Um, reviews out there for this already now so if you're thinking about getting one go and see any of the other ones that are on youtube but uh, for me personally i want to make sure that if i if i make a cock up obviously i want to let you know about that but at the same time if there's the potential of this not doing what it says it does especially because it has the brand new board in it then i want to be able to tell you that as well so i'm sure it's going to be fine because inakin do generally make pretty solid products but uh, but yeah so i just wanted to let you know why that one's not come out now the uh the smoant i think i told you about this before this smoant um it's a little bit like the expo stick or exo stick and it's uh, a little bit like a couple of others but it's not a clone so um i have i have used this a lot i really have used this a lot um that definitely needs to get reviewed i've had this for a long time now and that definitely needs getting sorted out uh, the tank i think i told you in the last vlog was horrific that is just not getting reviewed they did send me a sub tank as well even though i told them not to uh this was the packaging so that's always nice um in fact the mod itself came in a in a uh, in a bubble wrap bag so i have no idea what the box looks like or anything like that so that's that's splendid um but yes they did send me a sub tank and it looks exactly the same as a kanga sub tank and this is a smoant sharon spelt with a ch sharon <laughs> Someone made a car called a Sharon, didn't they? Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean it's it's a sub tank, so reasonably restricted airflow, sharp drip tip, um, looks incredibly dull. So whether I review this or not, I don't know. Uh, look at the size of what I imagine the rebuild deck is. That is feckin' huge. Um, I did tell them not to send me that, so I don't know. I'll, mm. We'll see. We'll see. It's a thing. It, it may happen. It may well happen. But uh, but the key thing is the mod is actually fantastic. And I think it's around about that 40 quid mark. Battery life. I have been vaping this at, uh, I'm on 33.3 watts at the moment with the Vapor Giant Mini in there. And um, this has been my kind of driving around town, um, popping out for a little while. Happy little setup. The battery life isn't brilliant. To be honest, but um, it's uh, it's certainly not bad. I 
I really like it. I th It's nice and heavy. And I'm sure I'm going over old ground again now, but it's heavy. Um, it fits in the palm of your hand. Once you get used to firing it a little bit differently and not covering up the air holes on your tanks, which is a the thing. These side-by-sides are a, are a kind of a well-liked design now. So there is a lot of them about. And, you know, I do like it. It is comfortable. So there we go. There is that. Cheers to you. Happy Christmas. Um, I have been using the uh, the Squonker from uh, from Lost Vape. I have uh, Geek Vape sent me this. Um, well, Geek Vape and Lost Vape together put this together with my uh, my little custom pretty screeny thing, um, which I'm loving. I'm still I still I still love Squonking. It's absolutely the future. And I'm using one of their pre production RDAs. Now uh, this is going to be pretty interesting because this RDA. Um, when it comes to the final version, they may well be offering this as part of a kit so you can squonk and just give it some beans, which I think is a fantastic opportunity to get into squonking at an affordable price with a DNA 200 chip or board. So um, I really, really do like that still. That's really rocking really, really well. Talking of Lost Vape, we also have the uh, Triad, which is getting a lot of, uh, it's getting a lot of attention, uh, even though I <laughs> Which review was it? Um, one of the reviews, I think I said about four times that it's the triad, and I still had people saying, what's the mod you were using? <laughs> so the triad from uh, from Lost Vape. Go to uh, geekvape.co.uk or .com, I can't remember. Let me just have a little bit of a check. I should really know that by now. I really? Vape Geek. Did I say Geek Vape? Ooh, whoops. Uh, vapegeek.co.uk and they are are they doing pre-orders on that yet let me have a look let me have a look let me have a look at this I'm not gonna be a beatboxer uh, pre-order pre-order for the triad um, I this is the once again a pre-production version so um, it's not something that um, is the absolute final. There was a couple of changes that needed to be made on it uh, when, I, when I got this, uh, but we will be, both myself and Mark Todd, will be getting, uh, will be getting the, the, the final production versions of these. And I'm pretty confident that I'm going to be able to get into review on this pretty quickly, purely because I've been using this for a long time. Um, on top of that, now, it was my birthday at the weekend. Um, it's my birthday. It's not. It was my birthday. It's my birthday. No. Um, and so I bought the theorem. The, the, uh, there was supposed to be um, one being sent out to me, but it's never arrived. So I've given up all hope on that, and I went out and bought one. Um, it's an interesting little affair, to be honest with you. I've only been playing with it the last couple of days. Uh, filling is awkward unless you've got a long nose bottle or a, a dripper, like a, a pipette dripper with a with a kind of a long, sort of reasonably thin nozzle on the end of it. Um, the airflow, there is certainly airflow in there. The, the, the drip, ah, that's the point. I wanted to change the drip tip. The drip tip that comes with it, not so clever. Not really feeling it, to be honest with you. But um, because it's, it's just really, really, really dinky and little. Um, and I have found that the top of this can get a little bit warm, even if I'm using a lower wattage. Now then, let me let me pop a different drip tip on here. Will this fit? Well, that doesn't look right at all, does it? But we'll give it a go anyway. <clears throat> Let's have a little toot at 40 watts. That's definitely a lot better. What I've done is I've changed the airflow, so I'm just getting the airflow from the back. If you haven't seen the reviews on this yet, the airflow can, can come down and um, and then kind of hit in your coil directly and then come up into your mouth hole, or it can come down onto the coil uh, from the larger air hole from the top, or you can have both. Currently, I'm just I've been rocking it from the just the top down single airflow. Uh, now I'm rocking the single airflow just coming from the back, just to see if that helps improve flavour at all. Uh, I have re-wicked it from when I first got it because I didn't like the original wick that came with it, but I am using the notch coil that comes with. Yeah, that drip tip doesn't work at all. Oh, wee, you see, that happens. Um, 
yeah, so I am going to test this a lot before I give you my uh, my impressions of it, purely because I think it deserves a lot of uh, a lot of time spent uh, making sure I get my facts right. Um, but does that look alright? Not really, does it? I need more drip tips. I really do need more drip tips. Works right there. Um, so yeah, I will come to that when I get time. Now, I've shown you before the uh, the V Park 150 watt, and I told you that the uh, the the 70 watt version, which I've got up there, uh, didn't it had a funky button. So I told them, and really good customer service. They came back straight away and said, right, we'll send you another one out. Uh, so they have. They were meant to send me a dark one, but they sent me another white one. So we've got the white 70 watt version, and you can see that it is, you know, considerably smaller than the uh, the 150 watt, as you would expect. Single 18 650. Um, I will be getting to review this one. Uh, hopefully, I'm hoping the next review is going to be the Moon, uh, the Supremo Spade, and then after that we're going to go on to this probably. I think maybe or these rather, purely because I still really, really, really like these mods purely because of the simplicity, and there needs to be more simple to use mods because it's great having all of the super technical stuff, but uh, for, for for new vapors especially they don't. Don't want to be fanning around with DNA chips they just want to uh, heat up a coil and and get vaping now they did send the tank on as well once again I wasn't going to uh, I, I may talk about the tank in the review uh, the wife has been quite enjoying it I uh, I'm not so much not so much to be honest with you but there has been something funky going on with this yesterday it started delivering kind of um, burnt hits but it wasn't burnt so i just need to check to make sure the mod isn't spiking at all uh, as long as that's okay we should be on a winner and i imagine it's just a coil issue so and i also obviously i'm going to need to put some uh, from some different uh, rdas and stuff on there as well the 150 though i've had no problems with whatsoever and it's really quick the ramp up time is super quick on it i've really enjoyed it it's been really really quite special now then, um, juice wise, in the uh, in the what was it? The review for the Masons, I think. Uh, not the review for the Masons, but the review for the for the for the Masons. Um, I was using we we out here dough, <laughs> and I made a joke to say it's because I'm terribly young and hip. Um, <laughs> I'm not entirely sure English people can say we out here dough. And, and remotely clever with it, um, but yeah, that's a that's a very American thing. But yeah, this this is kind of it's been okay. It's been okay. This came to me from Herman Vapes in the UK, and well, you can see that I've gone through a chunk of it just uh, just dripping away over the last few days. And yeah, it's not bad. It's quite a subtle flavour. I don't get. This is why I don't do the juice reviews. Don't forget. But um, I don't get a really powerful flavour, so it's been fine for uh, for doing clouding and all that sort of stuff, especially if you've got kind of quite a, um, well, as I had uh, yesterday, quite a hungover palate. <laughs> Is there anything else? Uh, uh, I mentioned to you last time about the chuff stuff juice. I have been getting involved with... Uh, Excuse me, Diet Coke burps. Uh, have been getting involved with that and been really enjoying them. Now then, that's all of the gear and the, what's coming up for over the next over the next week. Obviously, we've got Expo coming up, which is super exciting. Myself and my wife are pootling off to there on Friday. Um, so we'll be there for the B2B day and then we'll be there on that. Not, we're not going to be there for a B day. We're going there for the B two B day, um, as well as the uh, as as well as the two days, the Saturday and Sunday after. Uh, the 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 other ideal home show guys. Rick's going to be there with me on Friday uh, and the rest of the weekend, and then the other guys are going to be coming along. So if you watch the show, uh, the other guy will all be there on the Saturday and Sunday. And what else is going on? Yes, thank you very much for all the 10K subscribers. That's marvellous. We are alarmingly quickly going up to 11, which is starting to get... I might have, I might have to start actually doing things properly soon. Really? Nah, probably not. <laughs> um, what else? So it was the birthday. It was my birthday, 42 years of age. Um, and uh, yeah. 
and the grey's coming through on the beard quite nicely. I had a haircut to try and make myself feel better, but because this is so short here, it now looks like I'm going grey, which I'm not. I'm not going grey on the sides yet. Um, but yeah, I'm finding some enormously long grey hairs in the beard. <sighs> Lucky I moisturised, I tell you, otherwise I'd start looking well old. <laughs> now then, I've got a couple of thank yous. I've got a couple of thank yous. Um, first of all, Barry, uh, a very, very nice chap, did me a painting of my uh, of my Spaniel Dizzy. And I'm going to pop it up here in the corner just so you can see it. Hopefully that's given you enough space so you can see it. It's absolutely phenomenal. He's done it with acrylics and a palette knife, I think, and, and just just ridiculous uh, that arrived last week and it was it was properly emotional because not only do i massively envy anybody that can do uh, to, can do any kind of arty painting thing uh, and make it realistic uh, it's not quite the same as the uh, the the graffiti that i used to do as a youth um but uh, you know going out and making something look realistic is is just hellishly difficult i imagine and the, but then getting someone's pet, someone's animal that you love and care and, you know, having in, as part of your family, but you know your pet's expressions and, and you know, the, the character in that dog's eyes. And, uh, and I think he's captured it fantastically. So, yeah, thank you very much, Barry, for that. That's amazing. And I've, uh, it, was, it was hugely emotional. What I'll do is I'll actually put a link down below to his website. He does do commissions and all that sort of stuff. But for me, it was a gift to me. And, uh, and I'm incredibly thankful for that. Uh, but yeah, I'll pop a link down in in the uh, in the description here. So go and check that out because he is fucking good. Uh, what else? What we got? We got Manny, Manny. Another very lovely. I've been spoiled. A very nice man. Manny has um, sent on the UX one. Oh, what's the UX1 I hear you say? Well, it's an interface, so it means that I can connect my guitar up to the uh, the computer, which is which is all gravy. Uh, you may have seen the um, the Tenacious D cover I did a little while ago, and I couldn't play on that because I couldn't connect my uh, my guitar up to the to the to the to the Mac, and I bought myself an iRig to uh, to try and make that happen but that ended up being quite poor so um yeah so luck well very kindly manny had one of one of the ux ones go and spare and uh, and sent it on to me so i have i yesterday in my slightly hungover state i had a good old play um hungover purely because it was my birthday on, on sunday not because i'm a raging alcoholic or anything <laughs> <laughs> even though i have got quite red eyes today someone asked me today why have you got red eyes on a video Right. tired just got out of the shower don't know um yes so i yesterday i was having a good old go with that and uh and i i kind of i get a lot of people ask me about the guitars i get a lot of people ask me what they are do i play and all that sort of stuff and in all honesty whilst i i thought i was an absolute rock star back in the day when i was kind of in my in my teens and and 20s uh it, i moved abroad for a couple of years came home and i didn't really get back into it you know and uh work didn't allow me to and and not only because of a, of a time thing i was very rarely home and so every now and again sort of once or twice a year i'd pick the guitar up and and have a little bash and all that sort of stuff and yeah <sighs> <laughs> oh, it's uh, it's it's it, whilst it is a little bit like riding a bike it's not something where you get your speed back instantly obviously so i had a little bit of a recording and uh, I, I might stick this if i'm feeling brave i put it as an unlisted thing on youtube just so a few friends could hear it um it's only like a minute and 12 seconds and it's pretty rough and it's pretty ropely, um, both played, tuned, uh, timinged, and everything else. But if I'm feeling brave, I'll stick it right at the end of this video. So if you're interested, you can go and check that out there. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to need a lot more practice. But yeah, I've been going into the into the uh, computer for any musos out there. I've been using the UX1 to go straight into the computer. And then and then I've been, been using the updated version of GarageBand, which is actually really quite good, to uh, to just have a little play. And it's it was just a few hours I was tinkering about with it yesterday and uh, realised that, yeah, if you don't play guitar very often, coming up with something original, <laughs> not the easiest. <laughs> 
<laughs> so there we go. That'll be there if you want to hear it, I, I imagine. Uh, what else did I show you these? I don't think I did. Um, oh, the wife stole my key ring. Now, standout stands, the guys that make these bad boys here, Mr. Sherwin, um, made all these, and these stands are the tits. I love them very, very much. They're very, very good. And once again, I'll put links down below. And uh, he also is making these little bad boys, which is just like a puck. You can't really see, but it's got my, my logo engraved in there. And this is just here. So it's a, it's a build deck. So you can just people through, screw your atomizer on there. It's all threaded and everyone's a winner. That tank was leaking then. Um, or RDA was leaking. That pops on there. Build away. Everyone's a winner. I like that. How simple is that? And so, yeah, so he's doing these. I think there's something like £15 with an engraving on them. Um, so for for a bit of, uh, a bit, I don't know what it is. I don't think it's, I don't think it's, hey, dropping things. Um, I don't think it's stainless. Is it stainless? It's quite light to be stainless. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, anyway, little bill stands. And uh, if you go and speak to, uh, to Mark, I can't remember if he's got a website or if it's just his Facebook page, but I'll put one or t'other link down below because I think they're the tits. I need a little key ring as well, which, uh, which my wife has duly stolen, which is kind of a, um, oh, dropping things everywhere. So yes, that's it. That's all I've got to say. Thank you very much for all the lovely birthday wishes. Oh, look, I've got a new chair. The wife bought me a new chair. It's nice and supportive, and it doesn't go every time I move. It's a little bit creaky because it's leather, but you know. Oh, look, let listen. No squeaks. <laughs> so, yes, hopefully that'll be good. Um, I did say I was going to do the charity raffle for this vlog. Haven't had time. Haven't had time. So, uh, yeah. And also, I'm, I'm still kind of getting some stuff together for it. The uh, the V Parks, they'll be up in the uh, in the raffle for sure. Um, we've got, what have we got? We've got a couple more of, uh, we've got a couple more of the Coilmaster uh, Euler thingies. Uh, we've got a Call Fire 4. We've got a couple of Serpent Minis. Um, I th have I got a Conqueror? I might have a Conqueror as well. So yeah, there's there's just gonna there's gonna be a few bits and bobs that are all going in there um, to to come up. Uh, what else? What else? Still got the review for the Shuriken to do as well, by the way, from Cthulhu Mods, and it's not my favourite thing. That's all I'm going to say about it for the time being. But that's all I've got to say. Like I say, if you want to stick around till after the uh, my normal credits, then uh, then I, if I'm brave, I will put my uh, my little stupid little song. Um, there's no singing in it, so don't have to worry about that. It's just guitar and dubious. But <laughs> but it's the first time I've played for Yongs. So there you go. Thanks very much for watching. I've been Dean the Vaping Biker. What should we sign out on? Let's go on the old... Uh, well, Mason 30 mil on the press at 100 watt. Yep, we're working. Thanks very much. Hit subscribe. Check out the other videos. See if there's anything that interests you. I am trying to get get to the uh, the coil building videos or the rest of the coil building series as soon as I can. But as you can tell, time is tight for me currently. So I am working very hard towards it. But thank you very much. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Have it large. I'm fading, it's come to an end. I feel an obligation to start again.